Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about Bitwarden. So, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, there was a big kerfuffle when LastPass decided that they were going to change their free tier to basically be completely useless. If one of the things you want from a password manager is to be able to get to your passwords anywhere, I mean, that's literally the purpose of a password manager. <laughs> I mean, and they changed their plan so that only people who pay for them can pay for it, can get to their passwords anywhere. Now, I'm all for companies making money. If it was against the rules for companies to make money, there would be no companies. The problem is this, the kind of the shady way they're going about doing this, because they actually had limits on their free tier before. Like a few years ago, it used, you could only sync between your, your accounts if you paid. It was like 12 bucks a year, and nobody really complained about it, because that's the way it was went from when the company started and then they changed that to the point to where the free tier members could have you know unlimited syncing capability and gave their premium plan other features to try to get people to pay for it now they're going back and it's actually more expensive than it used to be it's a whole big mess so the, if you're one of those people who feel burned about la by last pass i'm going to just say this right up front bitwarden is the best choice that you can make period it's just is i mean there are other options there's key pass there's end pass uh there's one password if you're using a mac or an iphone those things are i mean they're decent options but they aren't great and bitwarden is great so if you want to move past just good and go to great choose bitwarden so let's talk a little bit about it so first let's go to the website so this right here these are their payment options so as you can see if you choose to decide if you choose to have a premium account with Bitwarden, which you don't have to literally ten dollars a year a year yeah really good cheaper than this last pass and honestly if you don't feel like paying money you don't have to because all the good stuff comes with a free account uh, unlimited signals to unlimited devices uh, all the security and support you could possibly want. It's just really good. Really what you get if you pay that $10 a month is YubiKey X, uh, you know, capabilities, and uh, you get a little bit of encrypted storage. The pricing and the features really aren't even the best part because it has all the features that you'd want. Uh, the app is great. It has Linux support, obviously. Oh, uh, native Linux support, so you don't have to deal with the crappy LastPass password application that they decided to write in Electron or just use a browser you know extension it actually has an application uh, it has applications for iOS and and, and uh, Android as well you know obviously so good but the best part is it's completely open source I mean and, and I'm not talking just about you know just the applications literally everything that you could possibly want to know about Bitwarden is on GitHub you could fork this if you wanted to I mean <laughs> you'd have to follow the whatever license it's under um I can actually probably see what license it's, it's licensed under, but let's just see. Let's see what the server is licensed under. Is li licensed under the AGPL. There you go. I mean, seriously, it's just the, it, it's an open source license, so you could fork it if you wanted to. You could audit all the code, make sure it's secure if you know what you're doing. If, if you know C sharp, I don't know anybody who knows C sharp. I know. I mean, obviously. Uh, a lot of people know Shisha, but I just don't know any of them. But it's open source, so it's just it's. If you're a Linux person and you use a password manager, use Bitwarden. It's so good. They're not sponsoring this cha this channel or this video or anything. It's just really, really good. And uh, I switched to it maybe six months ago, and it's just good. So I have it so that I can just do a key binding, and it will actually bring up Bitwarden in a scratch pad. And I can just type in my password, which I'm not going to do on camera, you know, for obvious reasons. This is what the application looks like. Uh, and then I can just hit the, the key binding and it goes away again. So this is what it looks like on Android. It's a good looking app, you know, and it's very functional. It has all the stuff that you'd think, you know, a, a mobile app would have, like authentication with your fingerprint and your face ID or whatever. So it's good. So really, that's as far as I really wanted to take this video. but. For me, Bitwarden is just the best choice I've 
possibly made in terms of password managers in the last 10 years. I, I've been through them all. I When I was using Mac, I used 1Password, and I swore by it. It was good. It was also astonishingly expensive at that point. That was before they moved to a su subscription service. You had to pay like $80 or something like that in order to get into the app, which was ridiculous. Um, but it was, it's, it was a Mac app, and it was pretty like a Mac app, so uh, of course I had to have it. Uh, and then I moved to LastPass, and I was fine with that for a few years. And then it, the I moved to Linux, and LastPass for a while there was just not good on Linux. The only way you could do things was through the web extension, and managing your passwords in the web extension was bad. This was before they had an, a Linux app, which they only just recently made, I believe. Um, so then I switched to NPass, and NPass is not open source. They're also they charge ten dollars in order to use cross platform, so it's not a big deal. But it was, it was. It is what it was, and they don't have any syncing services at all. Uh, it's all done through like Google Drive or Dropbox or something, and that's fine because it gives you control. But I didn't really care for it. And eventually, I saw a bit where an ad on like Destination Linux or something, and switched over. Haven't looked back. I mean, it's just so good. Uh, I know I'm like preaching the pre I'm preaching to y'all about to y'all about you know how good uh, Bitwarden is, but I'm just telling you, try it. You will not be disappointed. Uh, leave LastPass behind in their shenanigans because they're going to continue to change these plans probably over and over again until they figure out some way of getting people to pay for their service. And like I said, I don't have a problem with them trying to get people to pay for their service, but honestly, it really should just be, you know, you want people to pay for your service? Come up with good services that deserve to be paid for. Uh, don't put basic functionality behind a paywall unless it's always been that way. Anyways, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Uh, make sure you subscribe. You can also support us the channel by going to patreon.com slash linuxcast. Speaking of patrons, I'm really getting good at remembering this. Um, thank you to Devon C for being our first patron. And uh, thank you uh, for watching. I'll see you next time.